Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Yom and today we are going to study design of one way slab part 4. So, what we have studied in part 1, 2 and 3. Let's just recall that. So, we have studied total 8 steps. So, first one was, uh, do you remember what, the, what was the first one? So, just tell me, okay? Uh, repeat with me. So, step 1 was calculation of aspect ratio. Step 2 was calculation of effective depth. What was step 3? Step 3 was the calculation of overall depth. And the step 4 was calculation of effective span. Step 5 was the calculation of loads. Step 6 was calculation of moments. Step 7 was determination of main reinforcement and the spacing between them. Step 8 was calculation of distributors and the spacing between them. Now, in today's video, we are going to learn the drawing of the one way slab. Like you have gathered all the information what size of rod you are going to provide in the slab and what would be the spacing between them but for the execution of this data you need to give a drawing and you will provide that drawing to the site engineer now we have to prepare the drawing so how to prepare that drawing that we will learn in today's video. So let's start. So today we are going to study a structural drawing. So first of all let me draw it for you. So our slab was free at one end and that means discontinuous at this end and continuous at this end. Now we have to provide main reinforcement and the distributors. So here we will provide the main reinforcement. Our center to center distance will be L. You can mark it as center to center. So it will be L which is having a value. of 3514 because our shorter effective span is 3.514 so it's 3514 mm then from here to here that is at the discontinuous support it will be 0.1 l and at continuous support this length will be 0.3 l at the bottom we will have a length of 0.15L and in this side from the center of the support we will have a length of 0.25L. Now we have to provide reinforcement at the top till here and here and we will consider the bending from this length so i will explain everything to you but just let me draw it first so now our bar will be like this So this is our main reinforcement 
and this will be our distributors now where we are providing the distributors so let me draw something for you in a slab or a beam our bending moment acts like this one so i will draw the support here so here is our support and here is our support so this will be our bending moment diagram from here you can see that we have bending moments at the top at the support and in the bottom we have bending moment at the center so we need to provide extra reinforcement at the bottom in center and at the top at supports so let's check how much bar we have to provide over here so we have to provide a bar of 12t 200 center to center distance so uh, at the bottom we need the extra reinforcement in the center and at the supports we need the extra reinforcement at the top so now let's uh, check what we have to provide so it's 12t at the rate 200 center to center so our this reinforcement will be this is our main reinforcement so it will be 12t at the rate 200 center to center now we need to provide 50% of the reinforcement at the top so for that what we can do we can just double our spacing so over here i can provide 12t at the rate 400 center to center but our codes doesn't allow us to exceed 300 mm so i will just redefine it to 300 mm center to center and the same thing we will provide over here that is 12t at the rate 300 center to center now we will come to the distributors so what we have to provide in distributors it's 10t at the rate 400 center to center so our these distributors will be 10t at the rate 400 center to center now even in the case of distributors we have to provide 50% of it at the supports so i will again double the spacing so it will be 10t at the rate 800 center to center but again our code doesn't allow us to provide this much spacing there is a limit that we can't cross 400 50 mm i have already explained that over here so the maximum can be 450 mm so i will just change it again and make the corrections so we will provide the extra reinforcement in distributors at an spacing of 450 center to center you can calculate the distance of l like 0.3 l 
या 0.25L and all these elements all this have to be calculated by yourself so you can do it so that was all about one way slab and this is the drawing if you have if you are facing any kind of difficulty in making this drawing you can comment in the comment section thank you